You are listening to a Life in Quebec podcast. For more, visit lifeinquebec.com. Hi, this is Andrew Greenfield from Life in Quebec. This article first appeared in the March 2014 issue of Life in Quebec magazine. The article, titled A New Perspective on Federal Politics for Quebec, is about aspiring politician Joel Lightbound. With the 2015 Canadian election canvassing in full swing, ahead of the October general election, here's what he had to say, and this was back in March 2014. Though it used to be a commonly cited maxim, the notion that young people are cynical and disillusioned with politics has largely been debunked in the last few years. Movements like Occupy Wall Street and the Maple Spring closer to home have proven that, now more than ever, there is at least significant momentum among young people to energetically push for their place at the table when it's time to talk about society's challenges. In many ways, Joel Lightbound represents the beginning of this youthful energy's integration into the mainstream political system, in his case at the federal level. Although provincial politics tends to take centre stage here in Quebec, Joel would like for more people to understand why what's happening in Ottawa deserves more of our attention. Quebec might not pay much attention to Canadian politics, but sometimes it feels like Canadian politics aren't paying much attention to Quebec either, he says. When asked for examples, his eyes light up. It's easy to point to the Manège Militaire or the Quebec Bridge, for instance, and those are serious, real issues that need to be addressed by the Canadian government, he begins, but quickly adds, but that's only part of the picture. What drives me is that I feel I'm seeing the society that allowed me to become what I am today disappear and feel that there's an urgency to act. Though outwardly he's the very image of the nouveau bourgeois mid-twenties professional, Joel is very open about his humble beginnings. He and his older brother were raised in a small subsidised apartment by their mother, a working-class single mum. He worked his way from high school at Rochebel to Champlain St. Lawrence College, earning the support and recognition of his community throughout and he became one of the rare few students accepted to McGill University's Faculty of Law directly from Cégep. Joel thereafter passed the New York and Quebec bar exams and joined Faskin Martineau du Moulin, a major law firm in Montreal. At the end of last year, he walked away from his job to come home to Quebec City and seek the Liberal Party of Canada's nomination in Louis Hébert, hoping to be his riding's voice after the next federal election. Quebec... The city, as much as the province, does seem to have a very uneasy relationship with Canadian political parties. The province has repeatedly swung wildly around the political spectrum the past few elections, with Quebec City's Mystère Québec adding an additional wild card to its unpredictably shifting allegiances. On this, Joel's practical reasoning could prove a breath of fresh air to a region apparently so disenfranchised with party-line politics. A party is a means, not an end, he says flatly. The way the current system works, you need to join a party that matches as many of your values as possible, and then work from the inside to push it in the direction you feel is best for both your constituents and the country. What are those values? For one, we've seen the gap between the rich and poor widen substantially over the course of the last decade, and the middle class is constantly shrinking. In that regard, Canada has moved largely from a compassionate society of heart and reason to one where increasingly only the strong survive. In many ways, this is why I decided to run. Because I feel that we are moving away from the society of opportunities, which allows us all to fulfil our full potential. He also has more direct goals, which tend to resonate with younger voters. Internet privacy is also a big issue to me, he says. And few people realise just how important the federal government is in that. I don't believe it's right that our government can pry on our private communications without a warrant or even any kind of due process, as has recently become a concern. Telecommunications is a federal jurisdiction and it's up to the federal government to step up. Of particular importance for his own riding of Louis Hebert, which is home to Laval University and many SAGEPs and research centres, is his interest in promoting research, which has seen its federal funding cut in the last few years. These cuts do more than just hurt the economy of the region, he argues, but they have a real impact that lowers our ability to improve, through scientific research, the lives of people across the country, and indeed across the world. It all starts here, and the Canadian government has an important part to play. For many of his long-time friends, his political bid is a step that was a long time coming, and so along the way he's managed to draw together support from unlikely sources. 
the Rwandan and Bosnian communities in his riding, for instance, have shown groundswell support for Joel. Quebec has a strong history of accepting refugees and immigrants, trying to build or rebuild their lives. The federal government oversees both immigration regulation and keeping our foreign policy focused on peacekeeping. To immigrants and refugees, that's not some lofty ideal. It's a reality they carry every day. Joel also mentions he's concerned about Canada's international reputation, which was hit hard when, for the first time ever, Canada lost its bid to have a seat on the UN Security Council. Joel is not the only member of the younger generation showing a keen interest in politics. Throughout Quebec, many aspiring candidates are already preparing groundwork for eventual nomination contests to become official party candidates, particularly within the Liberal Party. Many of these would-be candidates are taking to the internet and social media like never before, building websites and Facebook pages to connect more closely with their communities. Joel is no exception. One thing Quebec's rapidly changing voting habits shows us is that it's not good enough to drop into your riding once every four years and hope to get re-elected on your party's popularity, Joel argues. Today, new media gives us many options for proximity with our communities, even if we're in Ottawa, but nothing beats having your boots on the ground and being accessible in person, especially in Quebec. That's the only way we can serve our communities politically over the long term. Thank you for listening to the Life in Quebec podcast. For more news, commentary, editorials, and opinion, visit lifeinquebec.com slash podcast.